bridge in to retain the grease. A retainer there, a soft washer there, soft washer there, and a ring to retain the work from sliding off. Quite uh, simple but effective. You've got three studs there that run into that ring, and they're of a, a coarse whip with thread, used a lot in the time, sleeved with metal to ride that. And there's the hub with the three bolts there running through to the other side. The disc there on the front, screw a very fine thread on there. I don't know if you can read it, but it's got uh, CWS Limited Manchester. That would be the manufacturer. But the original hub, I think, is used. But the wheel right replaced the spokes and the outer wheel and re-rimmed it. Um, clever stuff, simple but effective. And of course, a tradesman in his own right. Lift the wheel on there, slide into place, it picks up, put the soft washer over it, which you don't very often hear a horse-drawn vehicle with a crash bang of a wheel. Slide the wheel into place, pick up, pick up at the inner rim that retains the wheel, stops it coming off. Three bolts there. Pulls it little okay. Just put these on lightly for now. We can pinch them up later. Old threads, these been on and off a few times in the day, I suppose. Um, this car in its day was bought, was built in uh, Marlow Road, Leicester, Leicester Carriage Builders. I had the privilege of the time to uh, work there for a short period. Uh, 1958 59 worked alongside some craftsmen and some real characters. None of them had passed big exams at school, I wouldn't think, but uh, certainly enjoyed what they were doing on the day. I'll spin it over in a second and you can see some of the metal work underneath. But prior to doing that, yeah, yes, I will. I'll go back. I'll uh, just pinch that into place later. There's the wheel securely into place now, having been pinched off, that's ready for the road. That is protruding and seats underneath the centre of the car. It works basically the same way as an art, uh, a modern articulated lorry. This uh, big lump of bolt here will fit through the cart itself and in turn pick up on there, through there, and it's retained underneath by this piece of timber, which again is reinforced with a piece of steel and will bolt underneath this. There you can see the step. There you can see the spring attached to the axle. Underneath there is a series of bolts secured to the timber frame is there, secures, picks up the back spring hanger and reinforces everything itself. This bar here, as you can see, is where the, where the, uh, the shafts fit for the horse to uh, draw the cart. There's the carriage now reunited with the main body. And that is the way it works. Main frame of the body there is made out of uh, roughly three and a half by two. That's old money. That's imperial inches. Rebated to receive a floor. You can see there, clad with ply, is a frame there which is uh, two by one stick, slap jointed, and then marrying at the top there with uh, onto the cant rail that you can see there, marrying up with roof sticks. The Main tools there used were um, a bandsaw to get the shapes, obviously, circular saw to cut most of the frame off, and the timber was donated by a local businessman. Six planks of uh, homegrown English oak, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, English ash.
just to uh, explain the interior, there would have been here, that's cut out, and an external door put on there. There's a locker that comes halfway across the, uh, the, the, the car, and that is for confectionery. The rest of the area is divided down the centre with a pillar that's detractable. They can take it out to clean the vehicle, and, and then each side of that you've got a, a steel rail at intervals, as in a modern vehicle, at intervals that the trays can be pushed into. So, if you can imagine the floor in, the centre partition, which again is detachable, into there, and a confectionery box coming through that side. Now, the back of the vehicle, you've got to bother weave a little bit. <coughs> In the back of the vehicle, under there, they often have a box. box to carry the, uh, the drayman or the, 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 the person operating it, keep his, his own personal effects in there, together with a nose bag for the horse. Because bear in mind, well, the, well, the, uh, the operatives having his sandwiches or a cup of tea somewhere, the horse has got to be fed en route. So you keep his nose back in there. And the box would hang there. Okay? Tower board drops down, lets the, uh, the trays be pulled out as, as required. That shuts up. For the top, just to show this is uh, live. Today so we'll just pop it up for a second or two. Okay, now this one would be a huge quadrant. So we can put it up there, serve out the back whilst it's raining or whatever. Well shut. That is the back end. And if you look at some of the pictures, they've got the sign writing on this particular one, which is cooperative, bread, and confectionery. There we go. A bit of band across there, and a bit of engine across the top. So there basically is your cart. It's going to move on from this site, um, and somebody's going to put it into a workshop and, and finish it. I must say that I've enjoyed what I've done reconstructing this particular cart, um, and it'll be nice to see it eventually finished. Thank you.